start hemostasis disorders hemostasis disorders what does hemostasis mean hemo blood stasis constant so okay what does it mean is constant of blood what does it mean it mean definition of hemostasis to keep the, everything with which has relation with blood healthy normal blood wall vascular wall and blood as fluid to keep it as fluid we call this hemostasis yes i know before you think that hemostasis means stop of uh, bleeding yes hemostasis no no it means i need to keep the uh, normal properties of blood constant wall and blood as fluid and also don't allow blood to be clotted and if the, we have bleeding to stop bleeding this is all we call hemostasis this hemostasis could be, could be disordered how <coughs> uh, first of all what we need for hemostasis vascular wall blood cells mainly platelets and plasma enzymes what we need for coagulation anticoagulation fibrinolysis okay <clears throat> which pathologies of hemostasis hemorrhage hemorrhagic hemorrhage we call it other word hemorrhagic diathesis or hemorrhagic okay thrombosis the opposite and dic disseminated intervascular uh, coagulation uh, syndrome DIC why it's uh, purely yeah, why it's individual because DIC it's collect connection between coagulation thrombosis and bleeding together understood yes. repeat again pathology of hemostasis hemorrhagic bleeding thrombosis and DIC DIC together <clears throat> we need hemorrhagic because thrombosis i already told in other video peripheral blood circulation disorders that was thrombosis there we need hemorrhagic what we have to refresh some knowledge meant about hemorrhagic Cl uh, uh, clotting mechanisms at all how to stop bleeding we have two mechanisms vascular thrombocytic mechanism and coagulation mechanism what is the difference between them i will tell vascular thrombocytic mechanism it's working in small vessels and we need just for this two components vascular uh, vessel and thrombocyte coagulation mechanism is it's, it's uh, working in middle and big vessels and we need for this coagulation factors there are two pathways interesting interesting intrinsing pathway and extrinsic pathway Intrinsic pathway, 12, uh, 11, 9, together with 8, 10, 2, uh, second, first. Extrinsic uh, pathway is tissue, tissue damage, 7, uh, 10, 5, second, 1. That's why I call it 1975, this one, extrinsic pathway. Understood? This is coagulation mechanism okay let us see uh, let us take va uh, vascular uh, thrombocytic mechanism <laughs> how this mechanism could be disordered uh, i said that there are two components vessel and thrombocyte okay then this mechanism could be disordered due to disorder of vessel disorder of thrombocyte vessel disorder we call it vasopathy vasopathy the word but the suffix pathy means dysfunction of anything vasopathy dysfunction of vessels <laughs> it could be inherited and acquired inherited there is two diseases we call them teleangioectasia teleangioectasia one is osler weber syndrome osler weber syndrome is autosomal uh, disease uh, defect of collagen synthesis of the vessel wall other one is ehlers danos syndrome ehlers danos syndrome also collagen but other collagen it's contain vessel wall and even joints that's why hyper hyper movement of joints we say in this case 
Okay, acquired, acquired anything which can damage our vessels could be acquired. For example, measles, Menin meningococcemia, meningitis, complication, uh, vitamin C deficiency, autoimmune, autoimmune, uh, allergic reaction, third type, autoimmune, uh, second type, uh, sorry, second type, autoimmune vasculitis. This is acquired. <laughs> okay, what about this is about vasopathy, yes? What about thrombocyte to thrombocyte, uh, thrombo, thrombocytes problem? Thrombocyte problem, we have two problems. Thrombocytopenia, thrombocytopathy. Thrombocytopenia means decreased number of thrombocytes. We know that normal number uh, one, one, eight, 150, 180 till 320 about. If it, least, if it between 20 to 50, it will lead to post uh, direct post-traumatic bleeding. If it less than 20, it will be spontaneous bleeding. Suddenly bleed, if uh, thrombocyte number less than 20. Anyway, uh, thrombocytopenia, less number of thrombocytes, could be due to what? Due to three mechanisms. Production disorder in bone marrow. Uh, destruction, thrombocyte. They are damaged. Uh, thrombocyte become destroyed in blood cells, and blood vessels and consumption. Which diseases we have TTP, uh, thromboitic, thrombos uh, thrombocytopenic purpura, and uh, hemolytic, hemolytic uremic uh, syndrome uh, in case of uh, renal failure and urea more in blood and it will damage thrombocytes. One additional information, so sorry, I will tell about uh, who about bleeding, bleeding, how it appears in our skin, bleeding in skin. Betichia or betichia. Betichia, when the bleeding points about one to two millimeter diameter. Purpura, more than two millimeter. Purpura, we call it. And echemosis, two, three centimeter diameter, big bleeding in, in skin. Okay? This is about thrombo thrombocytopenia, okay? Next, thrombocytopathy. Pathy means dysfunction of thrombocytes. Could be inherited and acquired. Now you will ask me, okay, which function of thrombocyte to, be, to have dysfunction? Yes, good question. Function of thrombocytes are adhesion aggregation, adhesion aggregation, uh, platelet clotting factors, they synthesize, and also they give biological active products which help in, in coagulation. For example, serotonin, ATB, like this. Okay, which uh, thrombocytopathy inherited? <clears throat> Could be in a hereditary adhesion disorder, adhesion. This syndrome we call it Bernan soiler syndrome, adhesion disorder. Aggregation disorder, aggregation in hered uh, hereditary is Glasman's syndrome. Understood? Acquired thrombocytopathy acquired could be uh, multiple, what, uh, due to what? Leukemia, bone marrow synthesized uh, bad, uh, bad thrombocytes. They cannot function. B12 deficiency, uremia, liver failure, and so on. This is acquired. Now look, please, some very important point now. It was, it was a uh, vascular thrombocytic mechanism, yes? How it appear if we have this mechanism disorder, either vaso or thrombocytopathy? How it appear? I said it's in small vessels, yes? It, wa uh, it means that it will appear as small bleeding points. Oh, well. uh, Microvessel bleeding. Uh, for example, as I said, petechia, purpura, like this, ecchymosis. This is small, small visits. Now you will ask me, how we test the patient? Uh, is it a problem in thrombocyte or not? We have two tests. Time of clot retraction. Time of clot retraction. Uh, when the fibrin become together to form uh, a blood, it become retract. This, it has time. This time become prolonged if we have thrombocyte problem. And bleeding time, bleeding time. 
it also other time, other test, it about two minutes. It also become prolonged. If this one of these these two times test become prolonged, means we have thrombocyte or vaso problem. Understood? <coughs> it was it was vas vascular thrombocytic mechanism. What about coagulation mechanism? I said it's occur in big vessels. Big vessels. For coagulation disorder, we have procoagulant factor, anticoagulants, and fibrinolysis uh, system. Coagulation mechanism become the disorder in case of procoagulant less, anticoagulant more, fibrinolysis high. Coagulation mechanism could be inherited also, inherited and acquired. Inherited the most famous, what we all know, yes, in uh, deficiency of uh, coagulants factors, hereditary hemophilia disease. Hemophilia A, it's take about 80, 85 percentage, normal. Disorder could be hereditary, acquired, hereditary. The most famous, what we know, this is hemophilia, <laughs> deficiency of, deficiency of uh, uh, one of from these coagulation factors. For example, hemophilia A, eighth factor, eight. Uh, hemophilia B, ninth. Hemophilia C, 11. But the most common is hemophilia A, about 80, 85 percentage. Uh, about, uh, about fibrinolysis, uh, fibrinolysis become more active, also it can lead to bleeding. It's due to hyperactivation of fibrinolytic factors, for example, plasmine, plasmine, or uh, uh, streptokinase. We give more streptokinase coming from bacteria, or we give, in case of myocardial infarction, we give streptokinase, but could be overdose. Overdose will lead to, will lead to bleeding also. Uh, uh, about acquired uh, coagulation, acquired uh, could be due to hepatic failure because most, most, most of these factors are Producted, produ uh, produced in liver. Vitamin K, K deficiency, K, because it's, uh, we need it for uh, second, uh, seventh, ninth, ninth, and tenth factor. And E. coli, E. coli, no bile, hypokolia, no bile, bile, no, because bile we need for absorption of vitamin, vitamin K. Uh, how we, uh, how we, uh, measure or test uh, if the patient has coagulation mechanism disorder. We said before, if it vasothrombocytic mechanism, we have time of clot uh, retraction and bleeding time. If it coagulation mechanism, we have PTT and PT. PTT, partial thromboplastin time, normal 25 to 30 seconds. Uh, and PT, PT is uh, prothrombin time, prothrombin time, 11, 13 seconds. Now note, please, PTT, we measure mainly intrinsic, intrinsic uh, pathway. PT for extrinsic pathway. We have one more is TT, thrombin time. Multiple uh, tests for measuring of coagulation system. Finally, how coagulation mechanism is appear, appear, how? If I see the vasothrombocytic mechanism, it's in small vessels, then it's appear with small points of uh, bleeding, then this is in big vessels. It will appear how? Massive bleeding, hematomas, hematomas, congestion of blood in some area, and for example, hemoarthrosis, blood in, in joints, for example. This is in general about, about hemostasis disorder. Thank you very much.